As subway ridership cracked the 3 million daily commuter threshold for the first time since the pandemic this past week, there's evidence that not as many riders are masking up. If you don't mask up, you, uh, you should not be surprised when you have to pay up. Last September, the agency implemented a $50 fine for anyone who refused to put on a mask as part of a government mandate. And while few summonses have been handed out, nearly one million masks have been supplied to commuters. But for the most part, people will, will comply when an officer comes up and asks them to put the mask on. And again, if they don't have one, we happily supply them with one. However, the MTA says subway riders have the lowest compliance at 87%, compared to 90% on commuter rails and 90%. 4% on buses. While the MTA police will be out at transit hubs, the mayor says the NYPD will not be in the business of enforcement. That's not something we focus on, but educating people, reminding people, giving them a mask, those are the right things to do. And officials want you to leave mask patrol to them. Riders should not get into confrontations with other riders. That's, that's a, a, a something for the police and other security forces to do. Yeah, sometimes New Yorkers just can't help it, but they say leave that up to the professionals. At this point, uh, according to the uh, MTA, back in early 2021, compliance was near 100 percent. So because it has dipped so much, that is why they are starting this blitz today, reminding people. They say over the past year, MTA police have had about 90,000 what they call positive interactions with people who have forgotten the rules. We're live here at Grand Central. I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, Fox 11 News. All right, Anthony, thank you.